Well, hey everyone. This morning we are going to visit Adam from Tesla Australia up on the Central Coast. And I want to demonstrate to you some examples of Navigate on Autopilot because Adam lives on the Central Coast. So there's quite a bit of freeway between myself and Adam right now. So uh, currently I'm on the Pacific Highway and there are certain roads where you can only use auto navigate on autopilot. Um, and I'm assuming they're freeways or motorways with a divided road and at least two lanes, so a dual carriageway. Uh, uh, currently on the settings, I've got it on, um, on lane change without confirmation. And I've got it on uh, vibrate steering wheel and chime for lane change. And I've also got it on Mad Max, which is uh, relating to how frequent this car wants to lane change to avoid slow cars. So currently, um, I'm on the Pacific Highway, like I said. Um, if I were to engage autopilot now, I would get this. So I would get um, these sort of blue railroads, railroad lines there, indicating that it's just on basic autopilot, which is not navigated autopilot and it won't lane change automatically for me. But it'll still keep the 60 kilometers an hour and auto steer. Once I get onto the M1 motorway a bit later on, you'll see that it becomes a single blue line. And that is Navigate auto Autopilot. So, I'll see you shortly on the entry to the M1 motorway. Okay, so we're just about to uh, join the M1 motorway at Warunga. This will be the first true test of the Navigate on Autopilot for me. We'll let this truck pass first. So I've got it on uh, Navigate on Autopilot there. It's navigating to a place where I'm meeting Adam on the Central Coast, about half an hour away. And I'm going to double tap the stalk on the right. Okay, here we go. There's that blue line. And it wants to lane change. That's fine. I'll let it go. Just tap to cancel if you wanted to, to cancel the lane change. So I'm not sure if there's a way to do that from the steering wheel, but certainly on the screen, it's uh, it's tap to cancel there. So the blue line there indicates navigate on autopilot as opposed to the uh, railroads I was showing you before. Interesting that uh, it's picking up the roadworks 80 kilometers an hour there, which is good. Normally this section, well, it used to be 100 to 110, but now with the roadworks new motorway and it's gone back to 80 so it's good that it's picked up there so far so good okay so now it's at 110 I'm just gonna push 110 there what's the lane change again so there I felt little um, little vibrate on the steering wheel as was the setting I showed you before and then uh, I had to to nudge the wheel as well to get it over. So here we are on the right lane at 110. I've got it on Mad Max mode, like I said, which means that it's going to try to pick the fastest lane wherever possible. So currently it's 6.44 a.m. as you can see on the screen there. It's a Monday morning, but today's the 30th of December which means that it's not a usual Monday. It's fairly quiet here uh, in the north of Sydney. Normally, uh, on the right-hand side, on a Monday morning, it'd be chock-a-block full of cars coming to work to Sydney from the central coast. But today, as you can see, it's pretty good on the right uh, opposing side, southbound. So there it is, trying to lane change again. Happy with that. Now this will be interesting because I'm coming up to some slow cars and there's a car behind me on the other lane. Let's see whether it allows me to lane change. Okay, so I mean that car was creeping up slowly. I would have stepped in to cancel if that car was getting too close. So I was happy to let this car lane change for now. So once I stick in the right lane, <laughs> at 100 just keeping 
the same speed as the cars ahead of me. So this is my first time on the on a decent highway Use, using Navigate on autopilot. Heart thumping a little bit, so which means that I a lot nervous, but I am aware that this is still beta and that I need to have my wits about me uh, to concentrate because it's not fully autonomous by any means you've still got to watch the road and always keep your hands on the wheel be always ready to take over this this car by the way so don't feel like you can just sit back and have a cup of coffee or start texting and just uh, letting you know guys there's a bit of haze this morning in Sydney which has unfortunately been kind of the new normal here in Sydney over the last couple of months with the bushfire smoke so uh, here's my chance to uh, just promote a really worthwhile cause called Frunks Up for Fires, organised by Toby, who is the person behind the Twitter handle Australian Tesla Owners. Great initiative there by Toby, so uh, if you get a chance, please donate to that worthwhile cause. We're doing a meetup uh, in late January. I'll post some details here in the description below. And all the money will be going to the Rural Fire Service and the victims affected by the uh, awful bushfires here in New South Wales over the last couple of months. So a bit of fog coming up. Whether it's fog or haze, it's a bit of a combination of both, I think. But hopefully you can still see what's going on here on the camera. So the uh, car's hugging the right-hand lane, picking the best lane because it's on Mad Max mode and um, yeah, I don't know whether it actually wants to get there quicker, I guess the notes do say that, right? Mad Max try to, tries to find the quickest route, which means that the lane changes more frequently. Uh, thanks to Tesla Joy uh, on Twitter for, oh, oh, I'm not sure what happened there, car, car swerved a little bit, I think it just disengaged. Or I've tugged a bit too hard, so I'm going to re-engage there. Back on navigate. I think I just tugged too hard. Okay, so once the lane change again. Back into the right. Yeah, I think I tugged too hard. But back to what I was saying. Um, thanks to Tesla Joy there for uh, uh, clarifying the fact that Mad Max is not actually due to the aggressiveness of the lane change, but rather how frequent the lane change is. And that makes sense to me. Alright, so now... Um, it has changed over to the right to overtake that slow slow car. It wants to go back to the middle lane, which is good. I, I think that's how I would drive as well on a three-lane freeway. I would want to stick to the middle lane uh, so that uh, it's kind of... I'm not a super fast driver. I'm not a slow driver, so middle lane works well for me. And it's good also if you want to exit a motorway uh, being in the middle lane. So the car's doing exactly what I would be doing, which is great. then I cancel that lane change because I could see in the car on the right coming up pretty quickly behind me so I didn't want it to change um, otherwise I'd have to, to cut in front of this guy and go pretty quickly and then I'd probably annoy him or her uh, not safe to do so so that that's good you can still cancel any time on the screen because you need to tug the wheel and I didn't tug the wheel otherwise it would have changed for me so again a bit of um, a bit of human intervention is required every now and then. Yeah, it's, again, I tug too hard then. And I actually could engage uh, autopilot in between lane changes, which is interesting. So that was a bit of a nice test. Yeah, I've just got to learn not to tug the steering wheel too hard, otherwise it'll disengage and gets a bit dangerous. So we've got another seven odd kilometers on the M1 motorway. And what I really want to see today is this car exiting the freeway. 
by itself. Which is uh, a lot of the appeal of having Navigate on autopilot. Okay, so switching back into the left lane, or the middle lane, I've noticed that it, um, it doesn't leave too much room for the car behind, I mean enough, we certainly cleared that car easily, but I wonder whether it's because of my cruise distance I've got it set on two, whether if I had it set on like three or four, then it would um, give it a bigger clearance. So I might do that, put on three and just see the next lane change we do subjectively whether there is more of a gap when I uh, merge back into the previous lane. So just coming into some fog now, this is, um, I think this is just fog, not bushfire haze. Certainly doing a cracker job of uh, keeping the lane in bush, in, um, in haze or, or fog. That's pretty cool. Okay, so in the next three minutes, we're going to reach our destination, which means that we are going to have to exit the motorway eventually. I'm just going to chance my arm a little bit and let the car. Uh, eventually go back into the left lane to get off the motorway. If it doesn't do it soon enough for my comfort, I may do the lane change myself. So we'll just see, once we cross this next bridge, we'll see what happens. Upcoming lane change, okay. It wants to change, but there's a truck there, so... That's fine. I will let it pass this truck. Okay, it probably wants to change now. Here we go. Little tug. There we are, so lane change. There is a slow truck ahead of me, but we'll see what happens. Whether it's uh, aggressive enough to get out of this lane to overtake this truck. Yep. <laughs> yes, it wants to do that. Okay, so it's just impatient. Because I actually need to get off after this truck. We'll see. It's up to the bridge, so we should have enough time. We should have enough time. So the bridge is a fair distance here. No, no, don't do that. No, no, you can please cancel. No, 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 you've got to cancel. You can't change to this truck. That's just crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Yep, so it's going to slow down, which is nice. Ah, and slow down to go behind this truck. That's pretty cool. Bit hairy, a bit moment there. Okay, it's going to exit. Oh, how good is this? Coming off the motorway. Navigate and autopilot will be ending very shortly. So that was very nice. Done. Awesome. Well, that's really good. I'm happy with that test. Uh, the first true test for me on a motorway. Okay, so here we are at DeRubbin Reserve, and I'm going to meet with Tesla Australia, Adam, very shortly. See you soon. Hey guys, I got Adam from Tesla Australia. Good Adam. Hey, how are we doing, Tom? Hey, good mate. Thanks for joining us. No worries. Oh, thanks, for, thanks for coming out. Oh, I was gonna say yeah. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me. No yeah. worries. Welcome to this part of the coast. Indeed. Thank you very much. It's a beautiful Mooney Bridge behind us. It is. Yeah. Not the best of days, but it's okay. Uh, is it bushfire smoke or is it um hey or is uh, it fog? I think it's a combination of both. I think. Yeah, I think thought. it's uh yeah. yeah. How are you finding uh, navigating water park? Not too bad. Yeah. Um, I'll add some footage uh, and throw it up on the channel a bit later on. But mm. for me. It's okay. It's not wonderful. Mm. Uh, it is beta, so I mean we've Absolutely. got to keep that in mind. It's not. We're not expecting it to be uh, completely perfect at this point in time. But I'm still seeing that kind of weird lane swaying mm. um, and some kind of odd issues around exits. Rather than kind of exiting off to the left, it mm. decides let's change to the right-hand lane and kind of move from there. But um, it's okay. I mean it's a good first start. I think the more more we use it, the more data we send to Tesla. Um, hopefully it will start to kind of get better. Yeah, but I think you hit, hit the nail on the head there. It's it's still beta, that's for sure. Yeah. And I think people like us, we're, our job is to try and test it for Tesla. Absolutely. And uh, perfect it. Hopefully yep. get it ready for the populace, you know, in the next few years, I think. Absolutely. How about you? How was your run up? Yeah, it was fine. I, I quite enjoyed that because as you know, I used the Sydney Harbour Bridge before. Mm. Not really a true motorway, but uh, 
that's my test bed. Yeah. Uh, if you can work on the Harbour Bridge, you can work anywhere. Absolutely. I personally, I personally. But being on the, on the M1 was kind of almost ideal conditions. Yeah. It was nice. I had it on Mad Max mode, as you will see on the video. Just tried to find the quickest route to find you, Adam. So, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I, I'm enjoying it so far. Same. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining us again. No worries. Thanks for having me. Have a good morning. Appreciate it. You too. See you, mate. Cheers. Okay. Well, that was fun. We are going to head back to Sydney now on the uh, M1 motorway. lane change straight away on Mad Max mode. I gotta say having autopilot just makes driving so much easier, so much more comfortable. You know compared to um, compared to like an ice vehicle. Uh, first of all being an electric vehicle is, is already comfortable enough being a smoother ride but having autopilot on top of that is just the whole new level. And then having auto lane change on top of that, again a whole new level, and now having navigate on autopilot, where it, uh, it lane changes for you and makes um, calculations on getting the fastest route there on Mad Max mode, like that's just totally whole new level. It's amazing. See the chevrons going backwards there, indicating a uh, slow truck. That's also part of this new update. I think that's for that feature where <clears throat> if you're trying to merge into a lane like that, it will try and slow down to match the speed of the slower lane to try and, you know, sort of uh, engage into that lane rather than cutting like a mad person. So this will be a good test. It's uh, coming up to a slow truck ahead of me. I'm just going to cancel that. Oh, it cancelled for me. That's interesting. I didn't cancel it, by the way. No, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. There is just way too much traffic ahead of me, and that truck's moving out anyway. So, again, an example of human intervention, just making a better decision. There's just way too many cars on the right to try to uh, do a lane change then. Yeah, so that was interesting. The car cancelled the lane change by itself. I didn't actually touch it before. I was going to, but I didn't touch it. So the card cancelled by itself. change so we are coming up to the Pacific Highway exit which is where I want to get off and we're hitting okay, we lane changing yep so we're coming up to 80 kilometers an hour road works again we'll just see whether it uh, changes the speed for me or I have to do it myself no I don't do it myself why are you lane changing don't lane change don't lane change okay we better slow the speed down because it is up to road works so I didn't want to change speed by itself this time, which is interesting. Yeah, so it lane changed to get out of this lane, because we need to get off the motorway, but then it went back into the middle lane. Let's see what it does when we get up to the actual exit itself, which is coming up, as you can see, in the next few hundred metres. Slowing down. 
really do need to get off the motorway. Okay. He wants to use this lane. Now it's a fork in the road. What's he gonna do? No, no, I need to get off. Yeah, so if that was... <laughs> I'm gonna cancel. So, yeah, this car wasn't going to get off the motorway for me. As you saw, it was just gonna keep going. Uh, I mean, it might have last minute changed, but it was just getting too tight for me. This is my exit here. So yeah, there we go. That's uh, our Navigate on Autopilot test on the M1 motorway. Thanks again to Adam from Tesla Australia for meeting with me. Just have a quick chat and uh, check out his video as well. He did a similar video from his place on the Central Coast to meet me uh, at that boat ramp reserve. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, happy charging.